Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're going to be painting a sea fan and some coral. I've been meaning to do a coral exercise forever, but I haven't got around to it. And I think it's just a fun thing to do when you're kind of stuck, bored, and in summertime, and you want to do something fun maybe with your grandkids or your kids. Um, it's just easy. They could totally do this. I use one brush, play around with mo washing around color or whatnot. The uh, sea fan is kind of based off a sea fan that I picked up actually myself and Turks and Caicos. Um, I will talk about that as we go further. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment section. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon here. I have ad-free videos, exclusive tutorials, live streams on a monthly basis, and uh, yeah, place people can go and support my channel. And if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please hit the bell notification button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So without further ado, let's have fun painting some coral. And All right, guys, I'm gonna go over my supplies. I have two uh, pieces of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It's a five by seven sheet. Um, I just tore off like, I basically have a 11 by 14 piece and I fold in a half, tear it, fold in half again and tear it. Uh, I'll be using my Grumbacker number 10 and probably my Princeton four long round velvet touch series, water jars, paper towels, and paints. We're working with blues and greens um, you can use like magenta and the yellow to make like a pretty coral. Um, so the first one we're going to start off with is the um, the fan. Um, I actually have a fan that I got back from. We actually found this in Turks and Caicos. We went to Turks and Caicos uh, many moons ago, probably like six years ago or five years ago. Um, and I brought this back. Isn't this pretty? So it looks like lace. I actually mean to frame this thing and I haven't done it yet. Um, it looks like lace, so we can't actually paint all little crevices. But we're gonna paint like a wash of color and then we're gonna go back in and paint some pretty veins and give the illusion of the lace, you know, without having to paint it. Cause it's just like a doodle. It's just gonna you know, make like a little, it's like a, like a tree, right? It looks like a tree branch. Just kind of a wash of color and then you put in the little branches. And the wash of color, can be blues and greens and aquas, you know, um, play around with it. It doesn't have to be like one particular color. You could do hot colors too. You could do pinks and oranges and whatnot. So we're going to play around with just washing and some color with this paper over here first. Let's start with this one. And we're just going to do it in a regular shape. So I'm going to use my peacock blue and do like a light, pretty background. I get this fairly wet, right? I'm gonna add a teeny bit of yellow, cabin yellow deep to that. Get that like greenish blue color. I'm gonna grab some more of that blue. And it's pretty turquoise. At the same time, I'm having like another blue over here. I'll have like ultramarine. So you get a bunch of these wet. So when you do wet on wet, you can just bleed them right in. That's the whole point. And go back and grab that peacock blue it over here so I've got like three blue three blues mixed up just like so it's more on the green side I could actually put some green over here so I got some cadmium yellow deep I mix take this color which is the peacock blue <laughs> which is the yellow and I got that bright green growing right there so I've got about four colors mixed up here. I'll add a little more peacock blue to this one. So more of a turquoise. All right. So I'll clean up my brush really well. As you can hear that clanking on the... And basically, you're gonna take some water on your brush and you're just gonna make this a regular shape. Like you saw the fan that I showed you, right? If you have to draw it, draw it. Make it a regular shape, kind of coming down into the tree shape with just water. Sometimes it's good to like see if you where it is if you fold it on the side. Mm, making this a regular shape. You can always move the paint around once it's you know down and you don't like the shape. So I'm just gonna fill this in with water.
Okay, then we can stop bleeding in color. So I'm bleeding some ultramarine. Pretty color. The peacock blue, kind of bright, right? Bleeding this color. Grab a little bit of the green. And the turquoise color we kind of mixed up. And see how I'm just kind of bleeding in all the color here and kind of pushing it around at the same time. Got more of this aqua and on ultramarine again, really watered down. I'm trying to see where I put the water. <laughs> there we go. Just kind of kind of bleed the color out. You want this a regular shape. Regular shape. Bleeding some more. This ultramarine down here. Like that tree shape. Just like you saw the fan I showed you. Just go like here. You don't want it too dark because we're going to go over it with the a darker color to make the, the tree kind of shape. We just want this pale, kind of misshapen kind of thing, majig. And then here you can just kind of put some little veins coming down. So it looks like a big blobby tree right now. And you can still kind of bleed in some more color if you want to add some more green, touches of green, just like that, or some brighter peacock blue. Just like that. This is a little fun exercise. If you do want to get a little bit darker on the bottom, grabbing some ultramarine and some Prussian blue. Kind of bleed that darker color. And do some wiggles, like the tree branch, the, the tree, not branches, but you know what I mean. <laughs> There we go. See, it's almost much darker on the bottom. Grab some more Prussian blue. Kind of bleed that. And when it dries, we'll go. We'll go up and we'll put in the, all the deeper color. So it's anchoring it. Ta so that's, we're gonna have to let that dry. After that dries, we'll go back to it. But in the meantime, let's just do a pretty coral. The coral um, comes in like all different shapes and funky sizes. I have a picture here. Um, you can go on the internet and look at the coral. It comes in like short little, looks like a tree with little funky fuzzy things up here or little branches here, little nodules that move around here. This is pink and they have red ones, which is kind of cool. You know, they come in blues, reds, pinks, You've got some yellow, um, purples. When they're dead, they're kind of white. Um, but when they're alive, they're colorful, which is amazing. Isn't that cool? So I've done like one that's all in blues I have like painted years ago. This is kind of fun. And I'll show you how to do this. And this one's just blue, but you can bleed in like colors and colors connected to it. So let me show you how to do that. Again, I'll take my ground backer. And we're gonna do wet on dry this time, okay? So I'll grab these blue colors we have here. It's just like making a tree with branches that it's colorful. So you can start from the bottom to ground yourself, right? And you can kind of branch outward to the left. Let me clean up your brush. Oh, I didn't make the pink coral color. So that's gonna be um, Quinacridone magenta. And of course, Cabin Yellow Deep. And you get this pretty orangey coral color. Okay. 
So we're going to be bleeding colors. We're going to be making our life a little crazy by cleaning off a brush a lot. So we got the little branch going here. We can add some more blues connecting to the branch and then going up here. See wiggle with the tip of your brush. If you want to get a smaller brush, get a smaller brush. Sometimes I like to work with the bigger brushes. It makes it more loose. So now see I did like a little branch there. I'll clean up my brush and I'll grab this coral color and I'll kind of attach the coral. Just wiggling it, adding little branches. The pink to some of the tip of the branches of these ones. You kind of want to wiggle the branch. It doesn't want to be like the straight branch. See that? Just wiggling the branch. You go back in and grab some pretty bright blues. I have that peacock blue. You can get even darker, like bleed in. See, I'm just tapped in with a darker color. And again, I'm doing this wiggle and branching off from the branch. This is such a fun exercise and it will get you used to doing the branches for the fan. The fan is the showstopper. So as it's bleeding, the color is still wet as I'm putting this color, you can go back and grab some deeper colors like ultramarine blue, kind of bleed those in. You see where we're going here? You see how we're doing this? <laughs> you can grab a little bit of green make this really colorful. You can even put some purples in there if you wanted to. So again, kind of play around with adding the branch out this way, adding in some green, turquoise color. Just like this. And you want to wiggle your brush. Get this jagged edge kind of coral looking. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Already it's like cool, right? Now, you don't have to have multicolored. You could do like I showed you all just in blues. Um, I just think it adds a little fun to make the multicolor. Kind of get a little deeper, darker with this coral here. I'm going to just bleed in some deeper tones. It's just adds another little dimension to what we already have. So maybe one of the branches off this is just all this coral color. Get a little wider. Because remember this like this is haphazard kind of branches kind of coming out. You're just kind of wiggling it. With your brush, the tip of your brush, see, I'm just gonna wiggle, jiggle, jiggle. You do wanna kinda connect them though. It's very organic how it happens. <laughs> I'm just playing around with adding color and the branches. And once this dries, you can do an overlay of another small one below. I'll show you that when this one dries after you go to the sea fan. So you're just going to play around with this. I don't think I necessarily have to show you everything I do here. I think you get the gist. You know, and you can go in, like I said, add in some deeper color, brush in blue. You're going to play around with this whole entire thing until it feels like it's done. And you're satisfied. Don't forget to do little teeny, teeny, weeny, weeny branches. See, I kind of did the overlap here. As you can see, you get the light purple blue in the background. And you do some skinny ones on top. Just kind of wiggling all that. Just go back in here. See, you're constantly going back and forth with your paints. That's why it's good to mix up the paints first. Have them ready to go. So 
and then you want to go back and forth. My palette tends to get a little messy. As you can see, I like to go back and forth. And it just feels more organic to me in this way. Okay, I'm going to make the Prussian peacock blue very turquoisey. Make the little, make teeny weeny weeny branches coming off branches. Kind of get little thicker ones. You need to play around. And they don't all have to um, go in a particular shape, like a tree shape. They can just be linear, fatter. See, it's organically just kind of moving around. And there's a bug there. <laughs> Real time tutorial, folks. Adding a little deep of color down here. Um, get some Prussian blue kind of tapping in there. I feel like it needs to anchor, you know. And I uh, really need to clean off my brush when you go for the coral because you make it ugly. I only have like one little green one sticking out here. So let's let's have some fun and add some more green. I feel like he's lonely. And you see how we can go on top of the other color? I mean, you could just sit here and do this all day. You really could. And you can add, connect the green out here. You can make really tiny ones uh, with a smaller brush than what I'm doing here. Again, turquoise. Really jaggedy tips. It's so much fun, isn't it? So that's that. And we're going to go back and do our C fan. And the C fan basically is kind of what I just showed you here. On top of all that light, fun color. And by the way, here's another thought. Why we would just leave it like this. You know what I'm going to do. Do you know what I'm going to do? Everybody knows what I'm going to do. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Let's splatter! Come on, guys. You need to have fun. It's going to change the painting a little bit. Make it a little more fun and have some movement. Not too much. Don't overkill it. Just a little bit. See, I just did just a teeny bit. Look how much fun it is, the movement up here. So we're going back to our, our fan. He's still a little damp. We're going to have to dry him, and then we're going to start painting a little branches on top of that. So we're going to come back and do that. Okay, so the sea fan is dry. And uh, by the way, don't don't um, you can play around more by adding some shells underneath your coral, and then do like I said, you can just you could do a multicolored one like this, or you could do a bunch of different colored ones stacked together on top of each other. We can talk about that in a minute. So here we got the sea fan, and we're gonna do the branches similar to what we just showed you. Obviously, the color's got to be darker. So I've got some Prussian blue here. You know, I can make some ultramarine with that. I'm basically going to come from the center, the, the, the bottom of the tree trunk. And we're going to start to make our wild and crazy branches. Now these will be thicker and then they'll get thinner. Right? Just like this. So I will get the smaller brush in a second. Just kind of putting in the thicker ones. So you do your main kind of branches, the bigger ones, as you see here. And it doesn't have to be just blue. You can add in some green. So I've got my Princeton 4. So I'm going to have to put some green in here. Let's see. I've got some Cabernet Yellow Deep, Peacock Blue. So you can play around with the greens too. But again, we're going to get all these little branches. And see, this one has them all kind of connecting like lace. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to do thicker branches. So you're branching out with some green, some Prussian blue. And you can make little teeny ones up here, kind of coming out of 
the color that we just did. All these little teeny branches coming off. Remember, do they like the little jagged edge? All these little jagged branches, like the coral. So you could do all the little lace. We could do tons of little jagged edges too, going off. You don't have to show all the jagged edges. It's so much fun. <laughs> so in between some of these, you kind of make these little lines and crisscross them. So it kind of looks like that lace that we showed you. You want to get really technical. Um, I think you can just crisscross all these little branches and you've kind of got the sea coral. This is like a fun doodle to play with. And you can add some greens, a little deeper blues, some of the turquoisey color. Don't be afraid. The trick is to kind of make them all jaggedy. And since you're painting it on top of the light color, we already kind of get the feel that it's the sea fan. See, so I'm painting really skinny ones. You could do, you know, it's just kind of like these weird patterns. I think it's just easier to go crisscrossing lines, like so, than to, to, to you know, draw all the perfect little circle y patterns. You can make yourself a little crazy. Just like this. Crisscross, applesauce. So you're going to do all these little jaggedy things. You can add some more branches if you wanted to. Now the actual sea fan that I have just has a few branches. But artistic liberty is more fun. Adding some more deeper Prussian blue. And I'm just going to go in here and just keep adding little teeny tiny branches. Add some up here. Kind of branching off. Just gives it a little delicate touch to it when you realize that it's a sea fan. Isn't this fun? I having fun yet? So I don't want to bore you with all my little branches, but you see what I'm saying. And we'll come back to my finished guy. All right. So once you've done all your little veins, I feel like I need some white in there. I'm gonna splatter a little bit white. So I've got. Um, some white gouache here. I'm going to water it down so I can splatter it. It's kind of thick. And I want kind of big ones, so I'm getting some bigger brush here. Splat. You can splat in some blue ones too, but I'm just going to do some white ones. Maybe a little more in some areas. Just feels a little more, you know, delicate this way. Like I said, you can splatter in some of the blue also. Clean out this. Grab some peacock. Really light. And Flat us some blue also. Guys, you want to have fun with this. You can even splatter in some green, some bright green. Don't be afraid. Play around with this. Yeah, it's looking a little more delicate when you splatter on the, the whites. You can actually put in a little bit bigger white areas. Kind of wash in a little white. Just in a few areas. Just playing around with adding some white. 
I feel like I washed in too much color and I wanted to add in some lighter areas. So you can go play around with that. Voila! So then you got your coral and your sea fan. <laughs> Fun to play around with this, right? And what I was talking about before is that you can add um, colors on top of this. So maybe you have like a greenish turquoise and you can add a little coral over here in front when it's dry. Add another one. Layer upon layer, some coral. See that? Anchor this one in the bottom. Once this one's dry, you can't do it, you know, you could do it when they're wet, but it was going to bleed into each other. And this could be a different color. I'm tap in some of the color. So you have a coral point of coral. I'm just grabbing some um, Prussian blue. But do you see what I mean? It could have been purple in front of there. I could have made a nice pretty purple one. I can add some purple to this just to change it up. Just like that. We've got our coral and our sea fan. Isn't that fun? So I want you guys to play. It's supposed to be fun. Uh, it's not supposed to be serious <laughs> all the time. My lighting is very dark. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Really, just you just moving brush. I don't even think I, I didn't even use my Princeton four. Um, I just use the tip of my Grumbacher number. That's ten golden edge. Just kind of wiggling it, painting with that, splattering the paint, washing in a color here. I might have done the background even a little bit lighter in certain areas over here. But you're playing around with that, and you're playing around with adding in coral. See, now that that's dry, I can go on top and cut a branch on top of it. You can just keep playing with this. It's so much fun to do. The possibilities are endless when you're playing with coral. It's a fun exercise for you. And if you have kids that like to do stuff like this, they would really enjoy it. So again, if you have any questions in the comment section, also don't forget to check out my Patreon. I have exclusive tutorials, ad-free videos, traceables. Um, on monthly, I do um, a live stream on the top tier where you can ask questions and I'll answer them. And um, sometimes I'll give you prompts for that. Um, yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you're having a fun day. And uh, it's summertime. Enjoy, play. This would be a really great exercise to just get you out of your little funk and to play. Take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.